The state television company White in Armenia represent the most important news for today. Good day. The fifth session of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. Has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenians? Armenia is an important partner for the EU in the South Caucasus. Can an Armenian be Muslim? An exclusive photo by Galen Matevosyan. Support the state television of Western Armenia. On March 9, the fifth session took place of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. The session was chaired by the first president of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamyan. During the session, the general condition was discussed of the government of Western Armenia. The first president of Western Armenia, Armena Gabrahamyan, referred to the Heritage Ministry of the Republic of Western Armenia and presented several projects. During the session, there are members of the government proposed projects which will be covered by the state television of Western Armenia in the near future. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. On March 9, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia gave a speech on the Western Armenian TV. In her speech, she referred to the occasions referred to the passing week in the Republic of Western Armenia. The Speaker mentioned that on May, the fourth session of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. The session was chaired by the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and in the presence of Armena Gabrahamyan and members of the government. During the session, the general condition was discussed of the government of Western Armenia. Armena Gabrahamyan, the first president of Western Armenia, referred to the legal processes taking place regarding the material and physical damages caused to the forcibly displaced families from Artsakh. Armena Gabrahamyan informed that he continues to deal with the applications and necessary documents of Artsakh citizens. The speaker mentioned also in her speech that on February 21, 2024, the funeral ceremony of Misak and Meline Manushian took place in the Pantheon of Immortals in Paris. During the ceremony on the front part of the Pantheon was the date 1915 with the indication of Armenia. The map of the genocide committed against Armenians in Western Armenia was also depicted. In 1915, the genocide against Armenians carried out by the Turkish government in Western Armenia was condemned by France for the first time on May 24, 1915, describing it as a new crime against humanity and civilization. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Government of the Republic of Western Armenia expressed their deep gratitude to the President of the French Republic, Mr. Emmanuel Macron, for presenting and confirming all this at the highest state level. Since 1915, various states have adopted a resolution which condemns the genocide committed against Armenia. The USA adopted similar resolutions three times in 1916, 1919, 1920, but they could not stop the actions of the Ottoman Empire. In 1915, on May 24, France, Great Britain and the Russian Empire issued a joint declaration that also criticizes massacres. Western Armenia TV summarizing the series of articles has Russia recognized the genocide committed against Armenians present you several important points that will clarify the answer to this question. In 1915, on May 24, the joint declaration of France, Great Britain and Russia, it is stated. During the last month, the massacres of Armenians by Kurds and Turks is taking place in Western Armenia with the direct support of the Ottoman authorities. Armenia's massacres took place in mid-April in Garin, Bitlis, Mursasun, Zeytun and throughout Kilika. Residents of hundreds of villages around Van were massacred too. The Armenian quarter in Van itself was beside by the Kurds. At the same time, the Turkish government in Constantinople is subjecting the peaceful Armenian population to arrest and unprecedented pressures. In view of these new crimes committed by Turkey against humanity and civilization, the Allied States governments of Russia, France, and England hereby publicly declare to the port that they are personally responsible for these crimes against all members of the Turkish government, as well as those of their local representatives who shall be involved in the massacre. You can learn more about the subject on the website of Western Armenia TV. Now the issue on Armenia is an important partner for the EU in the South Caucasus. Ambassador Tigran Balayan, head of Eastern Armenia's representation in the EU, met with General Robert Brigger, chairman of the Ministry Committee of the European Union. This was reported by the embassy. General Brigger presented the strategy of the European Union in the military and defense sphere and the priorities rising from it. The pan-European security vision 
noting in this context that Armenia is an important partner of the EU in the South Caucasus, referring to the activities of the European Union Civilian Observation Mission in Armenia, the ambassador noted that it has an important stabilizing role from the point of view of regional security. The ambassador noted that it has an important stabilizing role from the point of view of regional security. The interlocutors exchange throughout on the latest developments in the South Caucasus and Eastern Europe, regional security perspectives and opportunities for cooperations. Can an Armenia be a Muslim? Miliyet.com published an article in which it raised the question. Question as follows. Can an Armenia be a Muslim? Has given rise to various discussions in the fact that the people of Hamshan, despite of being Muslim, speak Armenian and carry elements of Armenian culture and customs. One of the main characteristics that Armenians emphasize when defining themselves is the Christian faith. The fact that the people of Hamshen, despite of being Muslim, speak Armenian, carry elements of Armenian culture and traditions has made the question of how Armenians should be defined. The Hamshen people who are around 150,000 in number today live in Western Armenia, Russia, Georgia and some Western societies where there is an Armenian community. Argun refers to Hamshen history, society and identity in Nordic Turkey, refers to the Hamshen people living in Turkey. According to the book, in 790, when Armenia was conquered by the Arabs, they under guidance of later Shapu Hamadun and the later son Hamam migrated to Pontos under the rule of Byzantium. The capital here was called Hamamamshe. After Hamami, later the whole region began to be called Hamshe. Armenians gave different interpretations to this book. While one part of them said that the Hamshan people are Armenians, regardless of their religion, the other part insisted that they are Turks. A few also mentioned that Armenians existed before the birth of Christ. Christianity was accepted later. That's why religion should not be given priority when defining Armenians. However, the National Council of Western Armenia reminds to history lovers that Haik Nahapet and Emperor Tigran the Great existed long before Christianity came to Armenia. Turkish forgery stops where Armenian truth begins with grass. Armenologist Karin Matevusan has published an exclusive photo in his microblog Masho Jarantir, the largest manuscript in Armenia, in two parts. The photo was taken in the Masho Narakelots monastery in front of two famous Hachkars, which don't exist now. The photo was published for the first time. It was published in the book Yegarn after Yegarn of the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, taken from Sambat Delavetistan's divan. The time is indicated approximately in 1900 and 1910s. However, the existence of the manuscript probably indicated the year 1915. At that time, the Turks looted the monastery and Germans took their share of the Putin. The photo was taken by Germans. The famous carved door of the monastery was among the looted property to be sent to Germany. In the summer of 1916, all this fell into the hands of Armenian volunteer in Bages Pitis and was handed over to the archaeologist Sambat Deravetisian, who was there to protect the Armenian antiquities. The state television of Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion and it mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia on the present and the future with political and other contexts, as well as news that raises various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. We also present the political transition of pr the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye. Check all out, got me up, she got me